Okay, so just jumping right into things. I'm starting again with the same terrible braid pattern where I just, I don't know what I did. I just drew some lines and made some braids, I guess, but it works. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is just tuck the little tail ends away and like bobby pin them to my braids so that they don't stick out. Next is your handy dandy wig cap. Again, I'm just using one. This is like the second time I'm doing this and I'm finding that just using one helps the track stick better. I don't know, when I use two, I got a lot of slidage, so I will just be using one. Then we're gonna outline our leave out or basically where the part is with white eyeliner just so when I get to the top I know what I'm doing and I don't glue tracks where they don't need to be and as you can see here I'm almost out of this stuff but I am using the morning glory I guess that's what it's called the bond protector and I'm just gonna put it all over my wig cap this stuff really really works it really protects my hair from the glue I don't um, get any glue like seeping through when I put this on. This time, just for an extra layer of protection, I'm going to use the Got to Be Free Spray only because I didn't have a lot of the morning glory bond protector left so i just want to make sure i get all of the spots that i missed with this here i'm just drying the cap to like dry up the bond protector that i put on but i noticed that there's like a couple of like empty spots there like where i really didn't get that well so i'm just going in with a free spray making sure it's really really protected and i'm just going to blow dry it for this install i'm trying out the natural dream weaves hair in the 30 inch and the body wave texture i believe i'll try to find a link and put it down below but yeah, I wanted to try it out. This is super long and it's super wavy. I really like the texture, but if you like hold it up close, you can kind of see the kind of like yakky texture to it, which I actually don't like being able to see that, but you can't see it from afar, but if you get up close, you can definitely see that pattern. They definitely give you quite a bit of hair in the pack, um, but I feel like I got more with the straight hair. I don't know. Maybe it's the same and I'm just being delusional right now But either way you get a lot and honestly like two packs two and a half packs is enough for a full head. I Know how a lot of y'all talk about <laughs> how I make it look easy But I promise you it is a quick weave after you get past like the cap and the braiding down your hair It's literally the same steps over and over you're just measuring out the track from end of the cap to the other end of the cap you're going to cut it you're going to put glue on it you're going to put it on your head that's basically it until you get to the top then it's a little bit different but starting off in the back is probably the easiest part so i lied it does get a little bit hard when you're trying to make sure you don't like lay a track on top of another track but as long as you just use your fingers in the back to like feel where you're putting the track at you should be okay also make sure you go from side to side side to side don't go up don't go down you go from side to side in a straight line that could be a little tricky but just take your time don't rush and you should be okay Okay, so I'm done with the first pack and it's gotten like half of my head done. And now you can kind of see how long it is. Uh, I'm 5'3 for reference. So like I said in the beginning, I am just measuring from side to side, side to side, and then I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna glue, and then I'm going to repeat.
top of my head and I'm just gonna cut this wig cap. Now next, I'm just gonna work on making my leave out blend with the rest of this hair. Y'all wish me luck. Here I'm just using some bio silk on my leave out to make it a little more silkier. So I decided that I accidentally left out a little bit too much leave out, um, particularly on the left side here. And it's like my leave out on that side is a little longer than my leave out at the top. So it didn't really blend the best. So I am putting another track um, to kind of fill it in. So it's not as obvious that I don't just have these short strands sticking out the front. I put one on this side too, just to kind of even it out to make it a little bit more natural. I personally don't have an issue with putting glue a little bit anyways on my natural hair because I use the 30 second bond remover to take it out um, and it doesn't pull my hair out when I remove it. But if you don't like putting that on your natural hair, then don't do it. Now I'm just gonna go in and do my edges. I kinda like the dramatic edges look, but if you like a more natural look, you can just brush them straight back and keep it moving. But I kinda like to do the designs. I feel like it makes my, it like frames my face better and it makes my forehead look less bigger. <laughs> so that's why I do it. So just a heads up, the straight hair does blend a little bit better than this body wave, obviously because our natural hair is straight, well, if you flat iron it, and you know, the body wave has a wave to it, so you're gonna have to take some extra steps to make sure it blends properly. So aside from that, the hair was pretty all right. Let me go ahead and give you the tea on this hair. So once I got finished, it seemed so silky. It was so nice. It literally felt like I had a sew in with some like Brazilian bundles, minus the fact that you can kind of see the crinkly texture in the hair. That part I hated, but besides that, it looked really, really nice and silky. That lasted for about three days. Um, after that, it got real crunchy. <laughs> and of course you gotta keep like a brush through it and keep brushing it or whatever. But really what helps with that is wand curling it. Like you have to, not saying the curls fall because the curls actually stay put, but because it looks so crunchy and dry, it's like you kind of need to touch it up after a few days with some heat. And I think you can put up to 400 degrees on this hair. So just put some heat in it to keep it looking fresh. I personally wouldn't wear this longer than a week, even with putting heat on it, because it just did not hold up how I wanted it to. Maybe because it's longer. I don't know. Um, the straight hair to me definitely lasted a lot better than this did, but it looked so cute. So, I mean, if you don't want to wear it for longer than a week anyway, which I wouldn't recommend anyway, um, then go ahead and try this out. It's really cute. Just a little short temporary style. And it looks so good, but like for a few days anyway. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Adios, till next time.